Alright guys, here we are. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's Pokemon TTG Open 9. Uh, back after, you know, kind of being absent uh, last week. Um, uh, last week didn't exactly do one because I started working overtime at work, doing 10 hour days. Um, and that has kind of taken a toll. A physical toll on my body, um, which is actually why the last kind of kind of the last two weeks I haven't really been uh, streaming too much on Twitch. So now that you know, I'm kind of used to the whole ten-hour days uh, now since I've been doing it for a couple weeks. Um, I should be I should be a little more used to a little more used to it now. So hopefully, starting this week, I'll try to get back on the stream train on Twitch. You know, it's for like only like two or three hours, you know, uh, each night. Um, you know, hopefully, hopefully I can get back on the train because you know, you know, got a uh, got a got a stream for you guys. Um, so yeah, there's that. Uh, also, my uh, battle styles, uh, which case, um, wave wave two apparently. Some other some TCG stores have wave two released at different times. Um, the booster case that I got from the place I got on from. Um, their wave two is not uh, gonna be uh, released until later this month. I think it's like May twenty first or something. So that means it's gonna be another week and a half before the boost case gets gets on its way to me, and then you know shipping takes time. So yeah, basically it's gonna be the end of the month before we start. You know, the battle styles be massive opening. Which means by the time we're done that, Chill and Rain will have been released, because that set releases next month. So basically we're just gonna go from uh battle styles, right chill and rain, kinda back to back. Um Yeah. So I apologize for um for not having battle styles to open up for you guys, but sometimes there's just not much you can do when different TCG stores have wave wave two of the set uh, released at different times, and unfortunately, it's gonna be much later for me than I was really expecting. Because some TCG stores had wave two released like at the end of last month so i was kind of expecting it to have it basically here for you guys to open but that didn't happen but we will eventually get to open up battle styles for you guys so it's uh it's just gonna it's just gonna be a little while longer unfortunately but anyways enough about that Let's get to this week's Pokemon CG Online opening. We got 100 packs of Burn Shadows. Now, if you guys know what Burn Shadows is, then you already know what you're, what you're in for. But for those of you who don't know what Burn Shadows is, this is the first Charizard set of the Sun and Moon series. Uh, basically, we've been looking for a secret rare Charizard GX. Which, uh, if you have that card in real life, that card is worth about 800 to to $1,000 right now. Near Mint. Um, which is a card, which, is, which unfortunately I don't have, but... I don't know, maybe one of these days I'll get to open up some more Burning Shadows packs and, uh... Maybe, maybe, just maybe we'll get lucky and we'll pull a Ring of Rare Charizard GX. So that'd be kind of awesome. But yes, yes, this week is Charizard hunting. And I know how much you guys love to hunt for Charizards. I like to hunt for Charizard cards too. 
you know, we open, you know, we recently opened up some evolutions packs where we pulled a few Charizards. That was pretty awesome. Well, let's see. Let's see if we can pull some uh, more Charizards in the online game. So, so here we go. Let's open up our packs. Burn Shadows. Let's get started here. Open the pack. Alright, so here we go. Where are we starting with here? Alright, so we got a Tox Croak. A Reverse Electabuzz. Seems like we got some cards. We already pulled some cards from this set already. It's a little weird because I've not actually opened up uh, Burning Shadows packs in the online game yet. But oh well. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh! Here we go, here we go. Marshadow GX. Two packs in, we already got an ultra rare. You'll have to see it. Uh, Marshall, actually, uh, he's actually on the, uh, pack art for this set, the online game. So that's pretty cool, getting one of the guys in the pack art. So Marshall GX one has the Shadow Hunt ability. It's going to use these hacks any basic Pokemon in your discard pile. Very interesting, so it's, you know, kind of like... What other moves is that kind of like? It's kind of like what? Metronome? Uh. There's other ones that's kind of like. I can't remember which. Can't think of which ones. But, but that was pretty cool. That's actually. That actually can be. Uh, that could be pretty powerful, that Shadow Hunt ability. Uh, beat down 120 damage and. Peerless 100 Blows GX. Attack does 50 damage times the amount of base energy attached to this Pokemon. So that's pretty good. Nice Ultra Rare card. So, yes, last couple weeks been quite a struggle to uh, stream because working overtime, 10 hour days at work. A very, very physically demanding job, you know, kind of wears on you after a little bit, but. But meanwhile, we got another ultra rare card here. Ho oh! Legendary bird, you'll love to see it. Ho oh GX, one. It's one of Sacred Fire. Attacks is 50 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Phoenix Burn for 180 damage. Pokemon can't use Phoenix Burn during your next turn. So alright, you still got Sacred Fire you can use. An Eternal Flame GX. In combination of Fire Pokemon GX or Fire Pokemon EX when you discard pile onto your bench. So that is that, that is pretty cool. Getting a legendary bird. Um, uh, fun fact about Ho OGX in this set: there is, n uh, there is no uh, Seeker Rare Ho OGX in Burn Shadows. The Rainbow Rare Ho OGX was released as a promo card in in one of the Shining Legend products. I think it was the Super Premium Collection, I believe. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what it was from. Um, so yeah, only an ultra rare, only an ultra rare and full art uh, for oh for how OGX in this set. No rainbow rare, and uh, also for Charizard GX, for, which is what we're looking for. Oh, uh, there's no full art variant for the set. Uh, that was released also as a promo card in the 
the uh, Turbo GX box. So, uh, yeah, a little fun facts for you guys. About a couple cards. But yeah, as I was saying, love to get back to streaming now that I'm, you know, hopefully gonna be used to 10 hour days now. Uh, at work, you know, it's for like, you know, two or three hours. Um, but yeah, that is why I've not really been streaming a lot the last couple weeks, because tired days have a physically demanding job, you know, definitely tired out. So I go from some days not having energy to do much of anything to basically no days where I have energy to do anything after work. Ooh, reverse Gyarados. The hollow of a reverse foil. That's pretty good. First good reverse foil. Gyarados, that's a, that is a good one right there. What is this? Venting Anger. Times 50 damage for each Magikarp in your discard pile. In Splash Burn, 150 damage. Times 30 damage for each of your benched Pokemon. Ooh. A little bit of a price to pay for, for Splash Burn. Still 160 damage, that's pretty good. So yeah, hopefully now that I'm used to terror days at work, I will be uh, hopefully having a little more energy to stream when I get home from work. Because lately it's just been work, ten, you know, get up, work 10 hours, come home, shower, eat, and then sleep for the most part. Which, yeah, it's uh. It's a little rough at times, but but we can't go out anywhere. The extra money is nice. You know, the extra money is always worth it in the end. Uh, Dark Cry, Hollow Rare, very nice. Hypno Blast, thirty damage. Pause oh, Pokemon is now asleep. Dark Rave, Pause already used GX attack. Attack does eighty more damage. Yeah, I kind of want to get back to streaming. There's a couple things that I kind of want to do. Uh, kind of want to stream. Uh, hopefully, hopefully starting tomorrow, ideally. Uh, one is I'd like to finally finish off the uh, Clouds Games if you want to my classics playthrough. Uh, I only have one one thing left to do in that game. In order to master all 51 games in that game. And that is what it is being a game of Spyro, winning a game of Spyro Solitaire on advanced difficulty. Which is probably gonna be really hard because, you know, that's using two full decks of cards. So it's probably gonna be really, really tricky to win a game of that. Uh, what we got here? We have a reverse Lycanroc. Rock. Reverse Rare is very nice. That is, of course, the midday uh, Lycan Rock. Oh, which is that one. And let's see, it's a Simeon. That is just a regular rare. So, yeah, I want to finish up the Clawless Games playthrough uh, once for all. Then I want to go back to more uh, Warriors Woods on the NES. Because there was some developments that were made uh, to the leaderboard for that game. Uh, we'll hold that thought for a little bit here. We have a Reverse Rare Azumarill. So another Reverse Rare is very nice. Then we have an Ultra Rare. We have Necrozma. One of the Ultra Boosts! 
So I guess I guess technically Burning Shadows was the first set to introduce Ultra Beasts with Necrozma. Though though in the well though in the actual card game he's not actually referred to as an Ultra Beast. So officially Crimson Nation was the first uh, TCG set to introduce Ultra Beasts. Technically, the Crosma is the f actual first Ultra Beast release. So, the Crosma GX with lights and with the lights and ability fit all the damage down this Pokemon by attacks from colorless Pokemon. Pretty sure, yeah, it's definitely colorless. Prismatic Burst discard all psychic energy. From this Pokemon, it's actually 60 more damage for each card you discard in this way. In Black Ray GX, attacks us 100 damage. Each of Pokemon GX, Pokemon EX, damage isn't affected by weakness or resistance. So there you go, guys. That's two, two Ultra Rare so far. Doing good. Two Ultra Rare so far. Still relatively early. Alright. Ooh, Hollow DNC. Nice. Pretty good. Pretty solid pack so far. DNC or Sparkling Wish. Deck for card evolves from your Pokemon. Put it on Sparkling Wallet. Shuffle your deck. Diamond Storm, 30 damage. You need to heal 30 damage from each of your fairy Pokemon. So yes, as I mentioned, there was a change made to the board was the Nestle board. Basically what it was is that uh, now separate categories for played on the US version and Japanese version. The big difference is that in the Japanese version of NES Warriors Woods, uh, after a bomb has landed on the stack, it can it can randomly at any given point in time after that, where it can. Whoa. Holy cow. Brosis 420 with the absolute massive rate. Dude, thank you guys so much. Yo, know, everybody from Brosis 420 um, to this week's Pokemon TV opening. We're we'll opening up. 100 packs of Burning Shadows in search for, for Charizards. Hopefully all of you are doing amazing this weekend. As I should mention, it's Mother's Day weekend. So yes. So yes, everybody, everybody welcome. You know, I am doing very well, thank you. I'm um, glad to, you know, finally, you know, hopefully get back on the stream training. Because, yeah, last couple weeks have been pretty rough for streaming with uh, working overtime. Yo, thanks for the good luck. Yeah, I know I recently got a uh, new world record in the uh, Wildlife Country Club. Yeah. Try to remember which one, you, which one you, you set a new record. I think it was... Oh, which one was it? Was it, it was Stroke Play No Easy Shot or something? I'm trying to remember. Uh, oh, 
crap. There is also, oh yeah, there's a few follows. Let me actually get to those. Let me actually get to those. There's a couple follows. What is that? What is that? Nishikola and Father Muck. Oh boy. <laughs> that second one is an interesting name, but. Yes, you should call on Father Muck with the follows. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for the support. How much appreciate <laughs> Show play new no easy shot. Nice, nice. I, I think it's like yeah. I think it was like what eleven minutes or something for eighteen holes. That's that's pretty. That's pretty fast. That's pretty fast. I haven't had a chance to like really look at it yet. Cause I want to see like what you all do to try to get like time that low. So I don't even, I don't even think in my um while I open world record I get 18 whole times that that quick. Yo, thank you. And I, I know score wise, that one was really good. I think I ended up getting like 32 under par or something, which is which is really good because like getting birdies in Wild Eyes is actually pretty tough. Like it's not like Mario Golf where you can just like easily shoot like 25 under par every time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we have a uh, Rhyperior. I believe this is the uh, Hollow Rare Reverse, I think. Could be wrong. So that's very nice. I guess I could do that one time. I could, in th I guess I could do that one time just for fun. Um, but I, I kind of just initially did it for fun because, uh, um, another one of my gaming friends, uh, played a lot of Wildlife Country Club, uh, like, casually. And so, like, one time we did, like, a fun race. A fun race together where we raced the Wildlife Open. And it was, uh, it was quite fun. It was quite fun. P putting's really hard in that game, by the way. Like, putting is really hard in Wild But once you get used to it, it's actually not so bad. You know, thanks for your luck, Ocean Twink. Nice of you to join in on the raids. Have a good night, and hopefully we will see you next time. Hey, another like rock. However, this one is the midnight like rock. The other one we got was midday. So here we go, hollow rare like rock. What we got here? Dangerous claws. Pokemon, attack Pokemon, base Pokemon, attack to throw you more damage. And corner for 90 damage. And, and the defending Pokemon can't retreat during the next turn. So that, that corner attack actually is. can actually be really good. Yeah. Yeah, like a, a lot of golf games. Like definitely all of the Mario golf games are pretty good speed games. Cause there's like there's a lot of things going on. And a lot of the RNG that's in the game you can like react to, which is kinda nice, you know. You know, that it helps developing with like 
developing your skill of reacting to different random elements, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, definitely there are some golf games that are better than others. Uh, what is this here? Dust Noir! That's a Hollow Rare Reverse. That was very nice. What is that? Dark Invitation Ability. Once during your turn, you have your opponent view of the hand based Pokemon you find there into your opponent's bench. Put three damage counters on that Pokemon. And Mind Jack. Attack to start more damage from each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. It's a nice little Womble combo there. And Vileplume. Another Hollow Rare. Wow. Two Hollow Rares in one pack. Got this one has disgusting pollen. As long as this Pokemon is the actual Pokemon, your opponent's basic Pokemon can attack. Woof. And Downer Shock for 6 damage. Flip the coin's head, the Pokemon's actual Pokemon is now asleep. Tails, the Pokemon's actual Pokemon is now confused. Very interesting. Oh, where else got here? Sable B with a follow. Thank you so much, Sable B. If a little bit of support helps, much appreciate <laughs> All right. Oh, there is the vial plume <laughs> again. Oh, look at that! I've got the other vial plume. Nice. Ooh, nice. Got the long nine tails too. Nice. Yo, thanks, thanks, thanks for the go log bro, brosis. Have fun enjoying your food. Food is good. Food is definitely good stuff. Yes, yes, definitely. Once again, thank you for the for the massive raid, dude. That that I'm pretty sure was like the biggest raid I have ever gotten on my channel. So yes, thank you for that. Thank you, thank you for that. That is awesome of you to just raid the channel with so many peeps. Look at that, we got Butterfree Mudsdale. I'm trying to think of Muds... Is Mudsdale all rare? I can't remember. It might be a horror, but uh, I can't remember. There's so there's so many sets that's just so hard to remember all the cards in them. Oh, Kingdra! Kingdra, I'm definitely for sure now that's a horror. Ooh. Another Necrozma. Okay, so two Necrozma GXs. So far, so that's, so that's three Ultra Rares. That's not bad. Not bad. We got Kingdra here. Not gonna lie, Kingdra has not really made it into too many uh, TG sets. I think it was this one in Dragon Ma Majesty for Sun Moon. I think that was about it. Well, maybe it's made maybe it's made into one other one, but I probably can't think of it. So Kingdra with Brine. Attacks does 9 damage when your opponent's Pokemon that has any damage counters on it. For one energy, that's really good. And tornado shot for 90 damage, also for 1 energy. Oh, we have to discard water energy from this Pokemon. Attacks 30 damage, to one of your opponents. Branch Pokemon. Wow, that, that's that's pretty good. Couple 90 damage attacks, full in one energy. Although to be fair, the second one you do have to discard the the one water. But that, that's a pretty small price to pay, to be quite honest. Look at that hair cost. Who is that? 
Who is that in the background? I think that might I think that might be what a team might be a team skull grunt, I'm not entirely sure. So far so far no Charizards. We got lots of packs left. Okay, we got a meow stick. Another zoom around, okay. No full arts or secret yet. And we're 30 packs in, so. Hoping to get one, one or two. It'd be kinda cool. Ooh, Ladians, reverse rare. Okay, Electrovar. I think, man, it'd be so cool if, um, the wildlife, if the wildlife speedrun community got together for like, for like a race night or something, or just like a little small community night, that'd be pretty cool. But then again, the community's, well, I mean, the community's getting bigger. The community's definitely getting bigger, that's, that's for sure. So it's good to see that. You know, a, a golf game, not too many people have probably heard of, but it's definitely getting some love. Whoa! Hello! Hello, we have a double Electros pack. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, slowly but surely. Hey. Hey, sometimes sometimes slow and steady is uh is, is alright. You know, one person discovers the game, and next thing you know you know, a couple people find it and they start and they start playing it. And a couple people more each start start buying it and playing it. Slow growth, but hey, it's all about those net gains. They're a little on nine tails. That's a reverse foil, or I should say, reverse rare. That's what I should say. But yeah, I don't, I don't know when I'll get back to, um, when I'll get back to Wiley. Cause, cause Paul with me is that I speed run way too many games. And yet I'm always looking to speed run more games. Although speaking of golf games, speaking of golf games, uh, next month is when uh, Mario Golf Super Rush uh, gets released for the Switch. So I'm definitely going to be looking forward to getting that game and doing a playthrough of it. Because it has been a long time since we, uh, since we last got a, uh, a console Mario Golf game. Uh, released. Like, like the last Mario Golf game that was released before, uh, Super Rush. Uh, I think it was World Tour for the, uh, 3DFs, uh, several years ago, so. It's definitely been a long time coming for Mario Golf, and I'm glad that we're finally getting a, uh, a new Mario Golf game. Um, but yeah, yeah, a lot of people in the, uh, Mario Golf, uh, community are very, very excited that, uh, we're getting a new Mario Golf game, myself included. 
Like, I've definitely played a lot of uh, Mario Golf in my younger days. Yeah, I, I just love golf in this period. Yeah, that is definitely the plan. Uh, yeah, the plan is definitely to do a playthrough of that. Um, shortly after I get to the base. Um, I, I imagine it's probably... I imagine it will definitely be a digital copy for sure. I wonder if there's going to be physical copies also at least for Mario Golf. I would imagine there would be physical copies being released. Yeah. Yeah, like the two main like golf series games I've played. Uh, Mario Golf definitely be one. Mario Golf is probably the most popular like golf video game series. But another one that I play a bunch of, there's their golf series I play a bunch of, is the Tiger Woods PG Tour series. Definitely played, definitely played the GameCube Tiger Woods golf games a lot. Most mostly two, mostly 2004, 2005. I think, I think after. Six, I didn't really play them all that much anymore. But yeah, two th yeah, two thousand three, two thousand four, two thousand five. Uh, Tiger Woods PGA Tour golf games played those so much. Yo, we did it! We got a Charizard, everybody. Let's. Go! We did it. We got a Charizard. It's not the Charizard car we're looking for, but we got a Charizard, so that's good enough for us. Uh, yeah. So here we go. Charizard GX. Finally did it. We succeeded in our Charizard hunt for this week. So this one has Wing Attack for 70 damage, a Crimson Storm for 300 damage. Um, that's actually almost powerful enough to uh, knock out uh, Pokemon V Max. Not, not entirely sure what the lowest HP for Pokemon V Max is. I think it's. Probably around 300, 310. Somewhere around there. But you have to discard three fire. So it's pretty hefty price. Unless you got like. Unless you have like a few like burning energies attached to it. And then Regino GX discard top 10 cards for opponent's deck. But we did it! We have pulled a Charizard out of Burning Shadows. So that's what you like to see. So now, hopefully, hopefully this is a sign. Hopefully it's a sign that we might pull the Rainbow Rare Charizard. Because that would be the ultimate pull right there. Let's get the Rainbow Rare run. So, chances are, chances of pulling one are, you know, pretty slim, but not zero. It is never zero when it comes to online packs like this. Always a chance, even though it's small. Oh wow, we got the Venipede and the Scallopede. We need to get the Whirlipede though. Where is the Whirlipede? Oh, could I have the full line? Oh. 
I don't know why. I, oh, there's the world view. It was a pack late. Oh, Lucario. First rare, nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's always hope. Always hope. Whether it's packs in the game or as you know, you have, you have a bunch of loose packs somewhere. Always hope. Man, another Weevil. How many Weevils is that? Three of them already. Jeez. Almost halfway through these packs. Oh boy. Still hung on a floor or a secret yet. Alright, here we go. Pack number 50. So this is officially halfway through. Ooh, another zoom rail. Alright. Alright, well, 50 packs in. You know, we got four, four to her so far. No four secrets. Four ultras. One of them was indeed the Charizard. So that's always good. But, but, in the meantime, we're going to take a little bit of a break from this Charizard hunting. So we're going to pause this Charizard hunting. We can go on to another kind of Charizard hunting here. And we're going to open up this. So yes, this is a Shining Fates tin here. Where is the Shining Fates? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right there. There's Shining Fates. So yes. Got a Shining Fates tin here. It's actually the third one. A uh, third tin that we're opening up here. Um... Yeah, the last couple tins that we opened up, they were the Cramorant and Eldegoss tins. Uh, this is the third of three tins. This one is, uh, of course, Bolton's. You can see here on the front. So yeah, we're going to open this up here. And uh, hopefully, we will get the elusive shiny Charizard VMAX out of here. Uh... What do I have to open? Um, I guess I'll just use like this one dollar pen that half the time doesn't even work. Open up this bad boy here. Oh, nice! And I just like stab, stab my left middle finger with the pen. That's nice. Okay. Okay, I don't think I'm bleeding, so we're all right. So yeah, that, that, was, that was quite the jab. All right. Everything's gonna be all right. All right. Yo, thanks for good luck. Thanks for the good luck! Definitely gonna need it. Alright. So yeah, shiny face tin. You guys are wondering what's in here. Uh, yeah, one of three foil cards. Um, in this case, four cards again. Here's Bolton's. Uh, we get six shiny face packs in force. Also, there is a co card. So here we go. Let's open up this tin here. I'm definitely not keeping. 
All right. All right, well, if you guys like to add a shiny Bolton to your collection for the online game, there you go, guys. One shiny Bolton be for you. And here is here is that shiny Bolton V right here. Uh, I believe the uh, regular four Bolton V I believe is in Rebel Clash. Um, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it's Rebel Clash. I think we just recently opened up packs of that. I think we actually did pull one out of there. Uh, camera, camera, place. This game is a little finicky. There we go, there's a good shot of shiny Bolton V there. Yeah, Bolton V is one has electrified. Search deck for two light energy cards attached into your bench Pokemon any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. And Bold Storm attaches three damage for each lightning energy attached to all of your Pokemon. So yes, electrified attack powers up the Bolt Storm attack. Nice little Wombo combo there. Alright. So here we go. Take the plastic out. Keep the tins. I can store a bunch of cards in the tins. Alright, so here we are. Here's our six packs of Shine Fakes here. And there is the guy we are looking for, Shiny Charizard V Max. Uh, I think right now the card's worth about four to five hundred dollars in your mints. Um, I think when I think when the set was first released, it was like five thousand dollars, but it's definitely come way down in value over time. Yo, Jenna B25, welcome to the stream. About to open up some Shiny Fates packs and hopes. Yeah, Shiny Charizard V Max. Amongst other amongst other goodies. So yeah, six packs. We should get at least two cards from the Shiny Vaults. So hopefully. Hopefully we get some, we get some goodies here. Four. One card face down. That's what I like to do. All right. Well, here we go. Pack number one. See what we got here. Oh, we got Eevee. Nice. We like our Eevees. He's always very good. Okay, great energy. Okay, Luxio. So we got sh Luxio. We're gonna get the Luxray. We're gonna get the Luxray. The Rusted Shield. Okay, that's not bad. Hey, a hollow rare. Galarian Weezing. So, yes, yeah, so another thing to remember that uh, just like Hidden Fates, you are not guaranteed a hollow rare or better in each pack. As opposed to other special sets like Chief's Path, Dragon Majesty, and Shining Legend, where you are guaranteed. A hollow rare or better in those sets. 
There you go, Clarion Weezing. Hollow Rare. Uh, I believe this is an exact reprint of the same card from... Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? It's, it's either Sword and Shield base set or Rebel Clash. I can't remember which one was. It's one of those two. Starting off pretty good. Hollow rare card. That's a pretty nice start. Yes, yes. Yes. Drink of water. Staying hydrated is definitely very important. There we go. Just hydrated. Because you never know. Dealing with, dealing with potentially. potentially really fire packs. Yeah, actually, I do really like Glory Weezing quite a lot. There, there was someone on Twitter that actually... That actually posted a picture of, uh... Glory Weezing next to, uh, Doug Dimondome from, uh, Fairly Odd Parents. And, and, and when, I, when I saw the side-by-side -side picture, I was just... Blew my mind because because it honestly, Glory and Wheezy looks like it's just wearing a pair of Doug Dimondome's hats. You know those tall like cowboy hats and that, he, that he's wearing. Just blew my mind when I saw that. I was like. What? There we go. Lightning energy. Maybe we can strike lightning in one of these packs, maybe. Ball guy! Supplying us with the wide variety of balls. Alright, Tropius. Ooh, Professor's Research. Of course, this one of course has Professor Juniper on it. So Professor Meg, who's the other professor? Professor, was it Magnolia or something? I believe that's her name. They, they both have the uh, the same effect though. Both have the same effect. Just already hand and draw seven cards, which for your old school Pokemon fans. Might remember this as uh, Professor Oak. First, the original Professor Oak trainer card had the same effect as well. So there we go. That's actually the first first uh, first research pulled uh, Shiny Fate. So that's that's pretty good. Yo, thanks for hanging out, Jenna. Uh, uh, best of luck on your uh, assignments. Do it midnight. Oh, no. You got an hour and change to go. Oh, yes. Yeah, you better hurry up. Get her done. Yo, thanks for hanging out, Jenna. Glad that you enjoyed. Glad that you enjoyed the game so far. Hopefully we see you around next time. Take care, Jenna. Take care as always. Alright, here we go. Pack number three. Try to go a little bit quicker since so it's take absolutely forever. Okay. Gym Trainer, Floatzo, Ooh, Zarud, okay, let's 
couple non hollow rares. So far, that's okay. It's alright, it's alright. We've got sort of three more. Alright. I'm hoping for, uh, for a good pull from the main set. I know, I know uh, last time we opened up, we opened up a tin, we actually managed to get, we actually managed to get the Full Art Skyla out of here. Oh, what was the tin we opened up last that had the Skyla? I think it was, I think it was the Eldegoss tin that had the Full Art Skyla. Which, by the way, for Skyla from, uh, from the Shining Fate set, $75 floor card. But I think it's actually the most valuable card in the main set of Shining Fates. So that's, of course, not including all the different cards from the, the Shiny Vaults. So we have a Rotom. Let's go, guys! A full Arcira list! Nice! Nice! Another full from the main set! That is awesome! Yeah, a couple weeks ago, it was the Skyla. Now we get the Kira list. This is nice. Yeah, this is, is kind of why I want to try to get like a bunch of Shiny Fates packs. Just get like get like a bunch, and open them up for like an opening, but like ten dollars a pack, so it's like eh, it's a little much. Full our Kira list. Hero list. This one is searching rare fossil cards. Put them onto your bench, then shuffle your deck. So yeah, rare fossil. That was rare fossil was um, darkness ablaze and had yeah rare fossil, which evolves into either. Arctivish, Arctazolt, Dracovish, or Dracozolt. Depending on, depending on what you have in your deck. So that is a good one. Six packs. Okay, a full art is very, very good. All right, here we go. This is pack number five. Here we go, pack number five. And getting a lot of Eevees. Man, I love Eevees. Love Eevees and Eeveelutions. All right. We got the uh, tower, the tower, not the tower. Owl that yells. Towel that yells. Oh, ooh, nice. Ultra rare Cinder Ace V. Very, very nice. Uh, this one also a reprint uh, from uh, Rebel Clash. Uh, exact same art and everything. If you guys have opened up some Rogue Clash packs, probably will have seen this guy in that set. There we go. 
What is that so far? So we have a Hall Rare, Ultra Rare, and a Full Art so far. Six packs. That's very nice. Very, very nice out of six packs. So Cinderace V is one has the Field Runner ability. If, seam, if a Seam card is in place, this one has no tree costs. Crimson Legs for 140 damage. Yeah, yeah, so far this is actually pretty good. It's pretty good luck so far. You know, uh, that's kind of the thing with uh, loose packs. You know, you know, a sealed booster box, you kind of have an idea of, of uh, ratios of certain cards. That comes steel boost box 36. With packs on the other hand, uh, ratios that you get can uh, make quite a bit. And I know this because I've done a bunch of random pack openings before and I've gotten passive openings where I've pulled a bunch of parts, a bunch of secrets. And I've had other ones where I've pulled more or less next to nothing. So, you know, loose packs can be really good, can not be so good at times. <laughs> it's all in the luck of the draw, as they say. No towel that yells. Ooh, bosses or. Orders where on the card there. All right. Okay, so not too bad. Six packs. Hollow rare, ultra rare, flawed so far. We are gonna come back later on. We we'll find out what these uh, six face down cards are. In just a little bit. Maybe one of these will have a shiny Charizard GX. Uh, not shiny Charizard GX. That's Hidden Fates. Shiny Charizard V Max. Getting all my sets mixed up. It's not good. So yeah, we'll come back. We'll come back to these later. These six face down cards later, but. But in the meantime, it's time to resume our Charizard hunt in the online games. Here we go. So here we are. We're on to the second half now. So we have one Charizard so far. Let's see if we can get any more. So here we go. Time for the second 50 packs here. All right, let's see what we got here. Another Midnight Lightning Rock, that is very nice. Ooh! Looky here, we have a Mapog Champ GX Ultra Rare. Very nice, Ultra Rare number five. Yeah, you know, hold on, I'm wondering. Does anyone know if there is a emote of Machamp doing the Pog Champ face anywhere on Twitch? I, I wonder if there if there's an emote on there like that somewhere. Maybe it's on like Franker Face Z or something, you know. Maybe I'll like add it to my Franker Face Z or something like that. That actually reminds me, I haven't even done I haven't even looked at Franker Face Z or done anything with it in so long. Oh yeah yeah yeah. 
Oh, now I want to go on Fake of AC one time. And, uh, find if there is a, if there is an emote like that. I'm sure, I'm sure someone has thought of the idea and made the emotes and brought the emote to life. I, I guarantee you someone has thought of it as well. All right, here we go. Machamp GX with crosscuts. Pawns out Pokemon's an evolution Pokemon. Attack does 60 more damage. Bedrock Breaker for 130 damage. Discard any Steam card in play. And Muscle Punch GX for 180 damage. Attack damage is infected by resistance. So there we go, another ultra rare. Beautiful start to the second half right here. So let's keep her going. Alright, well we got a fishy. We caught a fish. Alright. Oh, okay, that one right there. Oh, and I forgot to say this earlier for the other couple times that we pulled this. Beware of this Pokemon. It is an, Im it is an immensely dangerous Pokemon, as the, uh, the flavor text says. This immensely dangerous Pokemon possesses overwhelming strength. The tap tap is generally off limits. See, but see, with such a cute face, such a cute bear face like that, you would never think that it would be an immensely dangerous Pokemon. But the Pokemon lore has it that it is really dangerous. Oh, I was right earlier. This is just a rare. Another, another midday like rock. So we've we've actually pulled all of the uh, like rock cards. We pulled both the regular reverse foils of each one. Yo. Another ultra rare. Let's go. Let's go. The ultra rares are coming in. That's number six with guard of four GX. Um. Oh yeah, guard of four. Also, what was the other set? Um. Garfar and Sylveon GX made it into what was the what was the other set? I think it was Unbroken Bonds, I believe. I think that's the set. I think that's the set. Unbroken Bonds. That Garvor. Oh dear! Network connection lost. Oh boy. Uh, well, sorry about that, guys. Um, server issues sometimes. This actually doesn't happen very often. The game just randomly kicks me out. But but not really a big deal. We just uh, we just log back in and everything should be fine. But yes, but yeah, this is not one of those, oh, this has never happened before, because I think it's happened, I think it's only happened to me once before in the middle of an opening, where, well, like once or twice, where all of a sudden the game just randomly kicks me out, so like, 
It's like, eh, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little upsetting because you know you never know when it's gonna happen. Come on, game. Just uh, get me back in. Didn't give me a chance to read over the uh, Garfor GX card. Like, how rude of the game to do that! I was about to, I was about to go over the card, and this is like, no, you cannot read it. Okay. Well, you know what? We're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Oh, we're gonna do this. We're just gonna do this. All right. Yeah, that, that's right. I got I got denied by the game. <laughs> all right, we're back. We're back. Everything is all. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Back in the game. So here we go. Garvar GX. This one has the secret spring ability. Once during turn four, you attack and catch very energy card from hand to one of your Pokemon. That's infinite force, technical story damage, times amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. And Twilight GX, shuffle 10 cards from your discard pile into your deck. So that one's pretty good to get. To uh, get uh, cards from your discard pile back to your deck. Of course, there are cards where you can just. Uh, you can just uh, give the discard power back to hand, which is honestly a little better. Um, I think I clicked on the. I totally clicked on the wrong thing. That's what I wanted to click on. Wow, this game is all of a sudden very slow. Okay, we're back. We're back. Okay, we got 45 packs left of uh, bird chows here. Hopefully, get through the rest of them, you know, without the game kicking us out. That's that's the goal. So hopefully, the game won't be kicking us out. Anymore. Although, like I said, that, that hasn't happened really very often at all, so I don't think... Yeah, we finally got a full art! Dude, and, pro and probably one of the, the best looking ones, too. Look at that. Look at that. An ultra rare full art. The beautiful wiki right here. I mean, I mean, this is a beautiful woman that wears glasses. I mean, I'm, I'm a little biased because I've, I've been wearing glasses for, you know, over 20 years of my life, so. So, I mean, any woman that looks good wearing glasses is just, you know, gets my seal of approval for, uh, for great looking women. Just saying. So here we are, our first full art. We got, finally got one. Full art wiki, this one is, each player counts cards in the hand, shove those cards into the deck, then draws that many cards. So 
it's basically just getting yourself a a new hand basically a new hand with the same amount of cards as you had before you know just in case maybe the hand that you got right now maybe isn't very good but you have a, a wiki trainer card so you um put the cards back in your deck Show, show for your deck and uh, hope for the best. Maybe you'll get a better hand. Maybe you won't. You know, depends on what you got in your deck. But that's good. We got four cards. Things are looking up. Things are looking up. All right. Wow. Another Midnight Lycan Rock. I think that's three Hollow Rares now of those? Wow. We've got a lot of Lycan Rocks, that's for sure. Oh wow, another Rhyperior Reverse. Reverse Rare, nice. Another Ocean Rare Fuller! Yo, what? What is that? Is that like two and three packs or something? Oh my goodness! What is happening right now? <laughs> Full art Acerola. That that is pretty cool with all the different uh, all the different shades of purple on it. That actually looks pretty neat. Yeah, dude, dude, we're, we're... These, uh, these packs, these packs, we're feeling the fire right now. We're feeling the fire. I, I have a feeling we're, at the rate we're going, we're eventually gonna get a secret rare of some kind. Hopefully, hopefully. It may, may not happen still. But things, things are looking up. Things are looking up right now. So here we are. Full art Acerola. This one is put one of your Pokemon that has all cards attached to it into your hands. What? Which is which is actually pretty good, you know. Just, you know, maybe like a Pokemon GX or Pokemon V Max about to get knocked out. This is this is kind of a good way to uh, sort of like bring it off of the field back to your hands. And I I would assume that that because you're uh, putting it back to your hand, that it uh, gets rid of all the damage counters that would be on it. I would assume. So that's actually pretty good. So that's actually pretty good. I, I I would say this is a pretty good pretty good support card for a deck. You know, just in case that you might. So two full arts in three packs. Was it two and three packs or two and four packs? I'm not sure. No, I think it, I think it was two and three. Beware. Of this reverse foil rare. <laughs> what is happening right now? That's another ultra rare fuller. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's three and four packs. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I wish I wish I get this kind of luck in real life packs. Real life packs, this usually doesn't even happen at all. <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, so we got a four. Key oh, how you pronounce this? Uh, Kiaway. I think I th I think that's how you pronounce it. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
But I'm, I'm, I'm guessing it's, uh, it's Kiaway. You know, trying to think of, you know, you know, trying to think maybe, you know, maybe sort of a, a, a Hawaiian pronunciation of sorts. But anyways, here we go. Uh, Kiaway, this one is search deck up to four fire energy cards. That's pretty good. And, oh, attach them to one of your Pokemon. Which, four fire energy cards, you're probably gonna attach them to your Charizard GX card, cause... Cause as you know, Crim... It's a uh, 300 damage uh, move. What is it? Crimson... It's Crimson something. I can't remember now. Uh... But you, but you have this card, three card cards for it. So, so this is this would be really good. You know, get a few of these with uh, a couple Charizard GXs. Uh, that's a pretty good fire deck right there. Let's do three damage every time. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Oh wait, oh I forgot, forgot, forgot about the second part. Your turn ends. Okay. So that means if you use this card, you don't get to attack. So that's the drawback. So that's the drawback of getting four fire energy cards from your deck. Otherwise, this card would probably be overpowered if you get four fire energy cards and attack the same turn. This would probably end up being a ban card in that case. But because your turn ends after you use it, that's probably why it's not banned. Okay, oh, three, four. Okay, we've cooled down a little bit. We've cooled down. We've cooled down. Oh boy. So pretty much we're looking for a secret rare of some kind at this point. To kind of make this, uh, make this open and, you know, essentially complete. But yeah, that four pack stretch of just three fours, that is. That, that was ridiculous, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, so probably now this game. This, this game is probably gonna drought us now of all these vehicles. Although, Porygon Z Hall Rare is not too bad. This is not too bad of a hollow rare. It's got initialized, place Pokemon with the hand of all one Pokemon. Devolve! Each of your opponents evolve Pokemon by putting the highest speed evolution card on it into your opponent's hands. Okay, well, see at first I thought that's that's really good. Because that's essentially multiple devolution sprays in one turn. But then again, it goes back to but then again, the cards go back to hands. And now, now with the card game being that you can essentially evolve as many Pokemon as you want. Um this it that ability isn't as good as what it used to be because the because the, the Pokemon TCG card game used to have a rule where you could only evolve uh, one Pokemon each turn uh, used to be yeah used to be one per turn uh, now I think it's um now I think you, you can evolve as many Pokemon as you want. Now. 
So, back in the older days of Pokemon, the initialized ability that this one has would be really, really good. But now it's not so good. But it's it's still not bad. It's still not bad. And of course, Zap Cannon any damage, but can't use Zap Cannon during your next turn, so. But yeah. But yeah. Rule in the, the game of Pokemon definitely has changed over the years. Um, kind of amazing that I even like still remember like some of the old rules that have been changed from way back in the day. Do the water full arts. What is happening with these full arts, dude? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's four full arts. That's ridiculous out of a hundred packs. Oh wow, Tapu Bulu. So fun fact about Tapu Bulu in this set. Um, Tapu Bulu is actually only in this set as a full art. Um, I believe the ultra rare variant of Tapu Bulu, I believe, was released. As a promo card in the product of sorts, I can't remember which one. Um, what is it like a, I, a Steam Deck of some sort, but I can't remember. And I don't think there was ever a Rainbow Rare variant. Uh, printed for Tapu Bulu GX. Um, there might have been one printed for, uh, for the Japan, for over in Japan. Because Japan tends to like to have some, you know, some of the better cards exclusive to them and not to the rest of the English speaking world. Because Japan likes to have all the best things that we don't ever get. But yeah. But yeah, Tabu GX in the set is only in the set as full art. So here we go, Tabu GX one is horn attack for 30 damage. Nature's judgment. We discard all energy from this Pokemon. If you do is attack to 60 more damage. Oh, it's just 60 more damage in general, not 60 more damage for each card. It's 60 more damage for all of the cards you discard. And then Tapu Wilderness GX for 150 damage. Heal all damage from this Pokemon. <sighs> How on earth have we not pulled a Sacred Rare yet? I don't know, but we got four full arts. So catching up to the ultra rares we've pulled. Oh, let's keep it going here. Are we getting more full arts? Okay, well not here, but the hall of our pollutants, alright. Well I run out of energy because we keep getting all these full arts. Another Vile Plume. I think we've got like four Vile Plumes already. Okay, oh, oh, I thought that was a full art for a second. <laughs> but no, it, 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 it's an Ultra Rare. Ultra Rare is pretty good. Ultra Rare Salazzle so GX, very nice. Uh, also, fun fact about Salazzle. Um, only female Salandits can evolve into Salazzle. Um, male Salandits cannot evolve, which is kind of...
kind of interesting. So, so here we go. Salazzo GX. With uh, Diabolical Claws. Times is 50 damage for each prize card you have taken. So this card actually gets stronger as you uh, uh, knock out more of your uh, opponent's Pokemon and take more prize cards. It's got Heat Blast, 110 damage. And Queen's Haze GX. Discard all energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Oof. That could be that could be quite good in the right spot. So there we go, very nice. Another ultra rare card. Hey, still have 30 packs to go. Oh, wow. This is crazy. It's crazy. Again, so many good pulls. So many good pulls. But I still feel like it's saving the big one at some point. Still feel like there's going to be a big secret rare pull eventually. Well, let's hope. Well, let's hope. As we said before, there's always hope. Oh, nice. Hollow Lucario. Lucario is definitely a very popular Pokemon. Uh, especially popular amongst furries. All those furry people out there. This one has a stance ability. You can play as Pokemon from your hand, evolve one Pokemon during your turn, prevent all effects from opponent's attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon until the end of your opponent's next turn. Then submarine below for 120 damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Lucario. Yeah, Lucario, very popular. Yeah, honestly, Lucario is definitely one of the very few non Gen 1 Pokemon that's very popular. Oh wow, another Necrozma GX Ultra Rare. That's three of those now. Man, on our way to a place out of those. But yeah, Lucario, one of the very few non gen Pokemon is very popular. Like, obviously a lot of people that have you know, been a fan of Pokemon for a very, very long time. Honestly, remember, you know, the first 151 Pokemon very well, because that's the first, you know, first generation of Pokemon that, you know, a lot of people will remember very, very well. Like, of course, like, of course, you know, the vast majority of people know Pikachu. Like, like a lot of people that even don't know what Pokemon is will know Pikachu because Pikachu is just you know, you know, the face of Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, I think Lucario is just, you know, very, you know, very well known in the furry community, even if, uh, even if a lot of the furry community just don't know Pokemon, they probably associate Lucario with, like, furries. You want to have a deck for the default, the default cards the game gives. 
I believe. Oh, uh, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I know what deck you're talking about. I'm pretty sure I know what deck you're talking about there. Um. Uh, hold on a second. Let me see if I can find the deck for you. Here, let me go to the trainer challenge for a second here. What is the name of that deck? Um... Oh, what? 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 I should have it here. How do I not have it here? Okay, never mind. It's, um, oh, it's a psychic deck. It's like... It's like minds... It's like minds... Mind crush or something? It's mind something. It has like, it has like... It has like Gallade in it or something. The deck has Gallade and Kangaskhan in it. it, it it's mine something. I can't, I can't remember exactly what the name is. But, but I've played with that deck in the game before. It has like Gallade, it has yeah, Gallade, I think it's Gallade, Kangaskhan, and some other, some other Pokemon? I can't remember what else is in the deck. It's, it's been quite a, it's been a little while since I've played the actual game on here. Oh hey, a hollow rare Raichu. Nice. Raichu the evolved form of the face of Pokemon. This one has e has evil shock ability. Play this Pokemon for your hand evolve, avoiding Pokemon during your turn may leave opponents as Pokemon paralyzed. And Volt Tackle for 130 damage. But Pokemon also does 30 damage to itself. Oh wow, another Raichu. Back-to-back -back packs with a Raichu in it. Nice. Ooh, nice, nice. A Dark Cry GX Ultra Rare. That is very nice. That deserves a little fist pump. A uh, fun fact about Dark about this uh, Dark Cry DX, there is a shiny version of this card uh, that was released in one of the. Uh, I believe it was one of the um, Shiny Legends products. Uh, I think I think it was, I think it was Shiny Legends. But yeah, they, there's a shiny version of this card that was uh, that's a promo card. That you can get. So Dark Cry GX one has the restoration ability. One straight is in your discard pile, put it onto your bench, then attach a dark energy card from this card pile to this Pokemon. Also has Dark Cleave for 130 damage. Tax tax damage isn't affected by resistance. And dead NGX. 
That Pokemon is affected by a special condition. That Pokemon is knocked out. Very nice. It's not ultra rare card. Not gonna lie, this second 50 pack has definitely been popping off. Definitely that slew of full art that we got, you know, definitely helps, definitely helps there. Another reverse full art, that's three of those, wow. Definitely the popular uh, reverse foil we've gotten so far. And then another vial bloom, just Add to the Vile Bloom collection. Jeez. Ooh, Salazzle, nice. Yo, thanks, you know, thanks for hanging out with us, Nishikola. Thanks once again for the good luck. Yes, hope for more Charizards, hope for more Charizards. We got one, hoping for more. Yes, yes, have a good night, Nishikola, and hopefully we will see you around next time. Yo, thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, Mudstale! Okay, so... This is... Okay, so Mudstale is a non-hollow rare. I probably got mixed in with, uh... Other sets that Mudstale's in. Because there's Sun and Moon sets that were Mudstale is, uh... Is a hollow rare. So I probably got mixed with those sets. Wow, I'm getting a lot of reverse rares. This is nice. Reverse rare Heracross. That's pretty good. Oh, wow. Three Salazzle GXs. Three of those now. So that's... That is tied with Necrozma GX. We got, th we got three of those as well. So now the slew of ultra rares is starting to come back in. Alright, well we're getting down there. Got a dozen packs left. We still haven't seen a seeker rare yet. And now we have a play seven across my GXs. Wow. Play set of this. Oh boy. Oh boy, guys. Welcome to 100 loose packs where ratios get to be. Ratios get to be a little wonky at times, and uh, yeah, this is definitely showing that now. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we got the, uh, we got the, uh, the Alola Rat, I guess we'll say that. The big Alola Rat. For Tata's the small rats. Another rat. Oh boy. Okay. Single digit packs. Left. Getting down there, guys. Ooh, a reverse hollow rare ride here. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hollow rare reverse foils are. Definitely very, very good. A 
Come on, career. Okay, no hollow DNC. It's all right. You know, first one of these. Well, first one of those in a while. So second one of those, but. The first, the first DNC we got was actually like near the beginning. Another Mudsdale. Wow, really? That is our first Tangrowth. Interesting. All right. Pack ratios, everybody! Love it! Ooh! Horror vs. Fall Dark Cry. That is very good. Alright, here we go. Final five packs. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic here for you guys. Okay, not there, but that's all right. It's all right. All these reverse rares. This is awesome. No nine tails. Arachne is a reverse rare. I think I remember the one boost box of uh, Burning Shadows that opens. I think like half of the packs, like almost half the packs had had uh, rare reverse foils in them, which was pretty ridiculous. I think it had like 15 or 16 reverse rares in it. That 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 was that was from a while ago. Like last year, or a couple of years ago, was the last time I opened up a a Burning Shadows booster box. Now Burning Shadows booster boxes are like ooh, like what five hundred or like what five hundred dollars now. Very, very expensive. Because, you know, everybody's trying to pull a Rainbow Rare Charizard GX out of uh, Burn Shadows. Because that's the uh, 800 to 1000 dollar card. And here we go, guys! This is the last pack here. Last chance for a Charizard. Last chance for a Secret Rare. Here we go. Rainbow Rare Charizard in three, two, one. Okay, oh! well we tried. <laughs> we tried, guys. We tried, but we did get one Charizard. We did get one Charizard. We did succeed. No Charizard. But unfortunately, no secret rares. Unfortunately, sometimes that's just the luck of the draw. The luck of the draw sometimes. Sometimes it goes your way, sometimes it doesn't. Alright, so here we go. Let's. Oh boy! Before I start yawning too much, let's go do a. Quick, 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 oh, what's the word? Quick recap. That's the word. Quick recap of some of the awesome pulls. Let me just scroll down. Here we go. Burning shadows. All right, here we go. So here we go. So, ultra rares. Ultra rares, we're gonna just keep going down here. Uh, whoa, what happened there? 
A little bit of a bug, it seems like. Um, Chari Ard GX. Uh, pretty sure it definitely forgot the uh, the Z. So, um, yeah, Pokemon TCG Online devs, we found a bug. Uh, no Z for uh, Charizard GX uh, here. Actually, maybe I scroll up and scroll down. Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Why is... Wait, so it loads... So the Z loads here. If I scroll up, it now disappears. That is weird. So down here, the, the Z is present. But you scroll up a little bit, the Z disappears. That is weird. That is definitely a bug. Pokemon TCG online, online deaths. Fix that bug, please. Anyways, anyways, back to recap here. Ultra rares. One Charizard! One that we were looking for. Well, not the Charizard GX we're looking for, but a Charizard GX. So that's one. We also have uh, one Ho GX. So that's two. Oh wow, same theme for uh, Salazzle. Except these Zeds are definitely not loading at all. So yeah, there's a there's a bug going on with the letter Z. Just uh not loading. Alright, anyways. One ho three slazzle. So that so we're up to five. Keep scrolling down here. So we're up to five. Four Necrozmas. So that's a play set. So up to nine Ultras. One Mapa Champ. So that's ten. Oh, yeah. One Marshadow, so that's 11. One Dark Cry, so that's 12. One Gardevoir, just 13. And that is it. That is it. So 13 ultra rares out of 100 packs. So that's that's, pre that's pretty normal. It's about what we average for 100 pack openings for the online game. What is that? 13. It's about one. About one every seven. What about one in every seven and a half packs? That's not too bad. All right. So now full arts. Remember we got the slew of full arts in that little stretch there. So full arts, we had one Tapu Bulu GX. And I have to go over here. Cause the other three were trainers. Uh, uh, where are we here? Where are we here? Here we go. Yeah, so what's happened, Bulu? We have one Acerola. We have one Kiaway. Not sure if that's the right pronunciation. 
And then one wiki. So that was our four full arts that we've gotten. Uh, definitely that's more full arts than we normally get. I think normally we only get maybe, maybe, maybe two full arts, maybe. So getting four full arts is very, very good. Oh, 100 packs. All right. So that's it for the online opening. So that's it for the online opening part, but we still got six face down cards waiting to be revealed here. So most of you that probably have seen me do this for Shrine Fates, you guys know the drill for those of you that don't. Six face down cards could be one of three things. We either a reverse foil from the main set, could be an amazing rare from the main set, or it could be a card from the shiny vault. Our six packs, we're kind of hoping for at least, at least two cards from the shiny vault, hopefully three. Three cards from the shiny vault would be pretty cool. But I see we're looking for a shiny Charizard VMAX. That's what I'm looking for. So here we go. So here we go. Pack number one. This one. Pack number one. Larian Weezing pack. So let's see what we got here. So pack number one. This is. Well, what do you know? A double Galarian Weezing pack. <laughs> well, 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 well. We got the double, double Doug Dimidome pack. That is, that's quite something. Double Galarian Weezing pack right there. All right, so this is already off to an interesting start. Uh, here we go. Pack number two, this was the Professor Juniper pack. So let's see what we get here. Ooh, shiny Mencino, all right. There we go, so we are one for two. So far for shiny vault cards. There you go, nice, happy, cute, shiny Mincino right there. So yeah, this one is Glance. Look at the top card of your opponent's deck. And Tail Slap. Flip two coins, types of 20 damage for each head. There you go, nice little shiny Mincino from the Professor Juniper pack. All right, here we go, pack number three. This was the one with Zarud in it. Ooh, okay, just a reverse full trope, yes. So, Nothing special there. Okay. Review here. Alright, here we go. Pack number four. This one had the full Arcira list in it. Ooh, okay. Just the reverse foil Nick it. Okay. One for four for Shiny of All Cards. Not looking too good. Kind of hoping for at least two. All right, here we go. Pack number five. This was the Cinderace V pack. Ooh, a shiny Cobble Pulse. 
Very, very nice. Two cards from the shiny vault. That seems to be seems to be relatively consistent with what you get from the tins. It's at least two from the shiny vault. So yeah, shiny claw will put us. This one is buying for 20 damage. Coin of heads, opponent's act Pokemon is now paralyzed. There you go. Shiny Clobopus. Here we go. Last pack here. This one had the Lysandra boss's orders in it. Can we get a third card from the Shiny Vault here? No, we cannot. Just a reverse foil weasel there. There we go, guys. That concludes this week's Pokemon TCG opening. So, yeah, thank you to everybody for watching. Thank you so much to Brosis420 for the absolute massive rage. Once again, super, super much appreciated. And, yeah, hopefully, hopefully, later this week, I will get back on the stream train. Assuming that 10 hours of work. Uh, a very physically demanding job each day doesn't just pot me out. Um, yeah, kind of hoping to get back on the stream train. That is the goal. So yes, so yes. Once again, thank you everybody for watching, and until next time, everybody. Have a great night. Take care. I'll see you guys next time.